Hello and welcome to episode 17 of Non-League to Legend here with Hemel Hempstead where as you can see by the league it's very, very, very close. Um, we've been on a bit of a run our last couple of games as you can see. Boom! Um, since we lost to Hampton and Richmond we haven't actually lost one. We drew to Dartford which we really could have done with winning. Um, would have put us clear for this one. But we didn't. And Chelmsford have been on some shocking form. Uh, they haven't actually won since there, and they've not been playing well. Shipping goals, whereas we haven't been. Um, but it's given a little chance for Billericay and Kingstonian to jump into the mix. So any one of these four teams wins today and the other ones don't, it all changes for everyone. Um, so Kingstonian could go up, or Billericay could go up, or Chelmsford could go up, but we are the favourites to go up because we are there. Um right now, as we're playing a very, very familiar side of Dickinson, Temoro, Mungo Bridge, Connor Sam, Joe Felix, Adebayi, Batashe, Ungbo, Clayton Phillips, Ago, and Nash, as Asang Anyi will be on the bench. I don't think he's the right striker for this game. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, Liam Nashy Nash has a free kick after two minutes, and uh, he's hit one. Sned oh, because had to palm it over the bar. Um, they're going to claim that's a good save in game. As I go, heads one straight down into Snedeker. So that's two saves for Snedeker in the first three minutes. How many will Snedeker finish with today and will they win 1 0? That's the only worry that I have. If that happens, well, I'll be fuming. As uh, at the moment we're still top because nothing else is going on in any of the other games. That that could happen. Um, every, we could all draw or we could all lose. Um, as Dickinson actually makes a wonderful save. I want to get some fucking show some passion on any second now because we are playing horribly. Still can't do it. Snedka. And that's one by Clayton Phillips. We need a goal just to settle the nerves a little bit as Hung Ungbo picks it up. I've got to find a man, but Tashe, he can hit them from range. We've seen that before, but he finds Tame Morrow out wide who whips one in. And again, Snedka's is behind it. That's three big saves in 12 minutes. That is ridiculous. This is behind everything. <laughs> I don't understand. As they drill one wide. Bloody hell. Show some passion, boys. Come on. We want to win this game. Murrell Williamson. And he's got a man over, but he's not gone for him. And Fucking hell. Just, just let him run through. Disgusting. Look at this. Connor SM. I expect more from you, young man. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Keeper can do nothing. No, that is an absolute joke. We need to go back quickly. We've had three big chances. They've had one and they've scored and we haven't. As simple as that, really. Liam Nashy Nash and Batash 8. Got to find a man and he's found Tame Morrow. I thought he'd literally dump one off the pitch and Tame Morrow cuts inside. What a ball that is. I go and we're just missing chances. It's got to put it in the net. We're down to third. Kingstonian are obviously winning. Um, yep, 2 0. Yeah, lovely. I'd love a two goal lead. Shame I don't have one. Demam more. We had 15 shots already and we haven't converted one. I'll tell you what, it's almost looking like it's going to be someone else's day at the moment. But, you know, we're giving the ball away there. Cheap. Cheap. Ago. Well, t good touch. Fine, Nash. Yes! Liam Nash! We needed that before half time. I'm not going to get too excited because we need another one. Um, but it's a great counter attack. Felix, it's, it's a bit of a lump ball. But Ago takes it down brilliantly. Just at the right time, feeds Nash, who dips one past Snedeker into the goalkeeper's right hand corner. Billericay are now the team to beat as they are leading Oxford City. 
Um, I'm Chris Eagles is right. I'm far from what I've from pleased. I'm far from what I've just seen. I'm far from pleased with what I've just seen from this team. And I'm gonna let them know about it. They're apprehensive. Oh gaff. Need a goal. Not for them. Oh! Billy Ricky, oh my god. Chelmsford are going to win the league. Oh. Chelmsford are going to win the league. Get Liam Nash off, I don't care if he scored. Asingan used the man. 66 minutes, get a goal now, please. Adibai, halfway, but Tashe. Just thump it over the bar. That's what I would do. Oh, DL. Say Moro. Batashe. I'd be so disappointed if we don't win this league. Ungbo. What a goal. Get the ball. Don't go off. Celebrate. We're not top. We're not top of the league. Where are you going? Very attacking. Moro Williamson's gone. Demand more. Come on. Eighty eight minutes in, eighty nine, eighty nine minutes in. Oh, bugger. Heartbreak. Could be heartbreak. What a block. Can we get up? Where's our midfield? It's offside. Not that it makes any difference. We've got four minutes. I've added some. What has this happened? The game's just ended. What the fuck is going on? Hello? We're just processing. Come on! In the end, it wasn't us that needed the goal, and we just didn't see it in all that madness. <laughs> Kingstonian ended up winning, which put them on to 83. Billericke ended up drawing, um, which put them on to 82. Chelmsford conceded to Kieran Kinder John. A centre half who scored his first goal of the season in the 93rd minute for Eastbourne Borough to put them 17th on goal difference, which promotes us to the conference. I can't believe it. Next year we'll have £12,500, which we are currently spending eight. We will be in the Banarama National League. After winning the National League South, as Merthyr and Dartford have now made the playoffs alongside Billericay, Kingstonian and Chelmsford, we will just quickly skip through all of this. Yes, we're very happy. We got promoted. Yes. Hemel Hempstead's best ever finish in the Vanarama National League. Zamet is one of the cream of the crop of Maltese managers right up there with all the other George Zamets from my other saves. Including Chelsea, Olympiacos, Coventry, Paul Zamet, Halifax, and yeah, some, yeah. Zamet praised by the supporters, 8 to 1 pre season odds, and uh, the board are very pleased that we've managed to do it. And uh, 20 medals have been handed out. Even Nicky Rowe got one, who I can't believe even actually played for us at any point. One of the worst signings I think I have ever made. He'll be out of contract and will save his money. Umbo shines as Hemel Hempstead failed to win. But in the end, his goal was um, massively important. And I'm going to tell him that because he's at, his goal has got us promoted to the Vanarama National League. We went through some sticky form at times in February and uh, December. And we thought it was all going to come crashing down. 
But the belief, the belief of this squad was there just about as Braintree go down. Hendon stayed out. Well done, Hendon. Uh, and I'm absolutely delighted. St Albans had a 90th minute goal disallowed, which helped. Um, but we don't mind that. But I tell you what, <laughs> before we all get too overexcited, we are going to leave it there. Um, we're going to be back in pre-season we're going to go through a little pre-season overview like the last week of pre-season maybe the last friendly we'll have an overview of the summer the transfer ins the transfer outs the highs and the lows of a pre-season the good wins the poor defeats and all of that good stuff and and what we're going to do formation wise and all of that tactical nonsense that i come out with i want to go through all of that uh in the next episode but uh if you did enjoy this one like it uh comment on it dislike it give me a load of hate just do just do something um to it because that i'd appreciate that even if it is hate just like i can live with that but uh until next time cheers fellas